What's good guys, I'm back with another video. So today I will be doing a story time for you um, based on stay at home mum depression. Um, I've actually denied this topic because of so many reasons. I've never had to like express myself in front of the camera. I never had to do anything like this. I I just want to say I've witnessed so many like really bad depressed people. I've met many depressed people. I'm so trying so hard to get this video out for you this morning I woke up and I was reading my comments and I just thought mm, I'm just gonna get this video over and done with because you guys have been constantly asking me to do a story time about this so I'm trying to do this this morning I got up I got my kids ready for school I made them breakfast I waited outside for them for the teacher to come and that's what I do every single morning. It repeats and repeats and repeats every single day. Don't get me wrong, I love being a mother. But when you constantly do things every single day, same time, same routine, it does really get through your head. Especially when you feel like you're doing it alone. I I can hide my feelings. I'm good at that. Like, I don't just... When I'm feeling down, I don't just flip out the camera and then I want to tell you. I literally can hide my feelings behind anything. Until it's built up inside of me. And I need to like let it out. For me, I did get depression after having my second baby. Because while pregnant with my second kid, it was it was terrible. I don't blame myself. It was it was the worst pregnancy I've ever had. But I'm still here today ain't I I'm just here to try to explain myself what I've been through what a stay-at-home mum really really feels during the day constantly every single day I woke up one morning and I received a snapchat from someone I do not want to say any names <coughs> for personal reasons I checked it out and I was scrolling through her snapchat and I was just like reading everything that she does <clears throat> sorry mind you I'm always constantly on snapchat I I like to go on I technically just watch people that who are mums and have kids because I can relate to what they're going through so I just go through the mums that I have on snapchat just go through their snapchats and then I just watch their stories <clears throat> there was this one that popped into my head and I just see her honestly every single day posting 
she wants a break she she can't even go to the toilet on her own she can't even have a nice hot bath she doesn't even get a hot meal she doesn't even have a single break mind you she's got two kids i am not saying any names but she <clears throat> she's an awesome mum she's like every every mother out there is really awesome but to catch up on people's stories that they go through dr uh, throughout the day there was this one specific day i seen her just let it all out on snapchat like she literally just let it all out told all of us how she felt what she's going through how stay at, being a stay at home mom isn't like isn't good and it literally isn't it's not healthy for us moms to stay at home all by ourselves being a mom doing the kids 24 7 on our own asking for help but you don't you don't get that help or sh too shy to ask for help too scared to ask for help and then us mums end up doing it anyways because that's just our job right that's our job apparently that's our job so for us to hold strong and keep a smile on our baby's faces that's our job we ain't allowed to ask for help because that's our job I'm I'm reading her stories and she exploded so I thought I'll message her this is the main reason why I thought I'll do this video because there's actually people out there that sit like that are going through the same things that I'm going through. Um. <laughs> to the single mums, like. Honestly, it's just so hard. Oh my god, I don't know. I can't even speak. Um, for me, I was working. I did have a job. Yeah, I felt pregnant, but I carried on working. I did have to finish my job because my baby I can't even talk. It's just... Oh my god. I didn't want to finish working, but... I had to. I thought... I thought, after having my kid, I would be able to go back to work which I did I did go back to work I carried on for a few months but my kid needed me the most So I continued to finish work 
and it was coming up to my last couple of weeks to work so it was hard it was so hard I can't even imagine mums who need to work to to provide for their kids I was that mum I worked and worked and worked pregnant all the way up to me having my kid I finished work and I never felt so happy to be home with my baby. As the days were going by, I was enjoying staying home with my kids, waking up to them, you know, not having to rush every single morning to get them ready, get myself ready, having to maintain both schedules so it fits perfectly during during our day. Um I I loved it. I loved I loved staying home. You know, getting things ready for when they're at school, cleaning up, having to, you know, just do the the basic things that us mothers are meant to do. Um as the days were going oh wait, as the weeks were going by, I started to miss work. Um, it didn't take me long to realise that I I can't be alone. I I wanted to go back to work so bad, but I know my kids come first. Their well beings come first. Their lifestyle comes first. It comes way before mine. So for their for them to be happy I have to make them happy I have to make things happen for them to be happy I have to constantly be there smile stay positive for them to be happy no one else but me so for me to stay home with my newborn and have my other kids go to school, I think that's when shit just hit the rock. For us mums to constantly do everything every single day isn't healthy. For us to stress about breastfeeding, about the pain after birth, about stressing because the house is messy, we can't do anything, we're sick, we're tired, we're exhausted. I don't know I don't know if I'm right, but it's hard. It's so hard. I can't even imagine my life without the kids. But making them happy and not myself, something's wrong. If you're, if you're doing everything every single day and stressing out about it and not speaking up, it builds up into your system. You're holding it all over your shoulders and you're just hiding it. When that happens, you start feeling depressed because you have so much bad energy, you have so much you have st you have so much on your shoulders that 
you haven't let yourself talk about it you haven't let yourself go for a walk go to the gym eat healthy drink water all those things will make you feel like you're alone will make you feel you know yuck inside and sad i done all of those i ended up depressed but i knew how to fight it and i still know how to till this day i'm i'm just saying like It's hard being a stay-at-home mum. We are left home with so many emotions. We hide it because we feel like we have to. We don't want to sound dramatic. We don't. We don't want to cry in front of you. We don't. We don't want your help. Because we end up doing it by ourselves anyways. But why? I'm feeling lost right now. I'm going to continue this video for part two.